Hi everyone, welcome back to our next part in our phone series going over Resound's Smart 3D app and how to make changes in that app to help us hear better. Let's get started. All right, so today we're going over that Smart 3D app. So we're gonna first start by when that app opens up. If we have an iPhone, then this will be after we pair it to the settings. If we're an Android phone, then this is where we're gonna start with. So it should show our name hearing aids that we wanna continue with those. We want to allow the Bluetooth Notifications are up to you. I'd recommend leaving them on in case you do have that ability to have your hearing care provider send settings over to you. That way the app will let you know when they have done that and you can update your hearing aids. Once we go through, it'll have you put them in the charger or replace the battery just to get that final connection between the hearing aids and the app. So here we're doing that real quick. There we go. Okay, after you go through that, it'll have you prompt to accept or decline the GN online services. This is where you have that ability to receive the programs and setups from your hearing care professional if they have that option for you. Um, let's see, once my video loads. Okay, so here it is just going through accept, decline, it says on there if you'll still be able to use the app if you accept or decline that page. So if you want to read through it, please do. But you should be able to just hit through agree if you're okay with that. Okay, so we have our volume slider bar at the bottom. We can take that up or down. There's also two little lines at the side that we can split so we can control left and right ears individually if we need to. Underneath that sound bar, it says sound enhancer, kind of cuts off a little bit on enhancer, but that's where we can adjust that sound even more. So if we click on that sound enhancer, it'll show us what it's already at. We can pull bass middle treble up or down, kind of depending on what we need. When we find something we like, we can just hit that X at the top and it'll stay at that setting. Um, if we want to make it into a new program, we would hit save as custom at the bottom. So I changed programs. I went over into that here in noise. So I slid on the page over. We can also tap the icons on the top to change that. Now in here in noise, I'm going to make a custom program for us. So I'm going in and changing my settings exactly how I want it. And then I'm going to label this new program <laughs> that I'm making dinner group. So I've set it up exactly how I want. I'm using my hear and noise program to give me that benefit from that program. So you don't, we don't have to create a name <laughs> if you don't want to. But once I do that, I'm going to go in. If I wanted to, I can save a location for that group. Then that summary shows me a summary of all of the program settings. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to hit that little X and now we've made a star. That star is our new custom program. So we can still slide through all of our programs and then we can still use the icons on top to tap through. If you'll see on our program screen now, we have two icons on the top. One to show us what the program is made from the other to show that it was a custom program made by us. Want a little bit more detail? We already have a video up on how to do a little bit more into the Resound Sound Enhancer. So check that one out, but we're going to stay pretty basic on today's video. So here's those screenshots. If we see, we see that all around. We also have two buttons underneath that all around that it didn't show when I was recording. So those two buttons are noise filter and speech clarity. It should be on almost all programs except custom programs. But when we have the noise filter on or when we want the noise filter on, you're just going to tap that noise filter and it's going to turn into that bright red color that we see on screen. Speech clarity is the same way. If we want it on, we're going to tap that speech clarity. 
when it's that bright red color, that's how we know it's on. To turn that off, we're just going to tap on that same one. So you see that now I've tapped on my speech clarity, so it turned off my noise filter. We can't have both on at the same time, so that's something to remember as well. Here in noise, we have that same feature. Sometimes it gives you a hear everyone. That one I wouldn't recommend as much because it's kind of overriding some of the programming that has already been put in. So I would stick with just noise filter and speech clarity, but if you're seeing any problems, then contact your hearing care specialist. So on my dinner group page that I've made for us, we don't have any of those special features. So if we need more of a noise filter or speech clarity, then we can hit that sound enhancer button right below the volume bar and then go in and adjust accordingly to what we need. If we need a bit more help or if we aren't for sure exactly what we need to adjust, then I would contact your hearing care professional to see if they can either replicate that program for you in your main settings or if they can give you a little advice on exactly what you would need to adjust to best fit for you. So that's all on just that home page, that main home page. Our next tab or our next page over is status. That status is going to show us what's connected, how much battery, and all that. So we have those white lines from our phone to our hearing aids showing us that we're connected. If we see red lines or any red <laughs> on that page, then we know that that is not connected. Something's going wrong. So we can see kind of a more overview instead of just the icons. We can see the names of those programs as well. If we pull down on that bar right underneath those programs, like I talked about in my last video about Resound, we can't adjust the programs from that menu, but we can see that overview and everything. So that next tab over from status is my resound. The one after that is more. So we're going to hit both of them here real quick. So in my resound, if we have chosen to turn our location services on, then that's where our location services will be to find my hearing aid. So it'll show us a status bar and that map view to know exactly or pretty close up to where our hearing aids are if we lose them. That My Resound also has the software updates. So if your hearing aid needs an update, you can check it out there. Sometimes if we have that notifications on, sometimes it will notify us that we need that update. If not, then when your hearing care professional hooks up your hearing aids to the software, it will notify them before moving on. And that last tab and more, not too many things we need in there unless we have a TV streamer or something that we need to pair and we want to do it ourselves. Um, but we also have the ability to check our fit. If something doesn't feel right or is not sounding right, we can use that tool to double check to make sure our hearing aids are sitting properly for us. So our main page or our main area we're going to be is that home screen, that main home page unless we want to go into the other tabs and kind of explore or see what's going on in there, kind of follow along with this video. Um, I'd just stay out of it for the most part, unless you feel comfortable with messing with those things. But the good news is that anything that you do or that you change in your phone for your hearing aids will not mess up or change the settings that are already set up in your hearing aid. All right, so that is just a few basics over that Resound Smart 3D app. I know it wasn't a lot. Like I said, if you want a more in-depth overview on that Resound Smart 3D app, you can check out our other video that I did over the kind of more so on how to add programs and all the other fun things, but just basics for today. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time on our next part going over some more iPhone quick tips, then Android will follow. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.